I don't forgot what I ordered at this point. What's up, y'all? So I I have I have a mess behind me, but we're about to get it together. So it is time for me to clean out my products. I haven't done this in a while. I feel like like I've kind of shifted some things around, but I haven't really cleaned out. And it is time to clean out um, and throw away some products. I also have some products that I bought, y'all. The, the boxes have been sitting. The boxes. The boxes have been sitting here because I refuse to put these products in with old products and so because I never cleaned out the Ulta boxes are still I haven't even opened them y'all I don't forgot what I ordered at this point when they were having that sale but it's time to clean out so I'm going to take everything out get a good wipe down under there because again it ain't been cleaned in a minute and we're going to reorganize our lives throw away some products talk about some new products must-haves favorites all that good stuff so let's get started y'all i literally have products everywhere because i have been taking it out over time i also have this bag this is from essence y'all like i and i promise y'all i have been using this stuff but between all of this that i got in here and all the stuff i already had like I was starting to give stuff away and I already gave some away and I still have a lot of stuff y'all like look at this this little bottle right here I got like three of these at Essence and then my aunt gave me hers because she didn't use mousse so I've even been using these on my son I got this one and I think I got one from Shea Moisture like look at all this stuff moisture milk I love this and I've been trying to save these little samples for travel um because these are the products i really love and i don't have to worry about putting them in travel y'all i still have the ears like i don't know what to do with all this stuff i don't want to get rid of it but i also like don't want to just hold on to it so i think i'm gonna find some people to give the rest of this stuff to because there's just so much stuff in this bag and like i have yet to open this i really want to try this the string hair oil by donna's recipe like look it's supposed to packaging like it's just so much stuff so we we gotta clean out all right, I'm gonna make a throwaway pile, a keep pile, a used first pile, like the pile that stuff can go to the back that I'm not gonna be using right now, and then stuff that I wanna bring to the front. So yeah, let me let me just do that real quick. <laughs> Before I put all this stuff back, I do want to open the new boxes of stuff. All right, I switched locations for a second because that bathroom floor, y'all, is so cold. And I was tired of sitting on that floor, so I came in my room. So before I put all my products back, I did want to show y'all what I got. So the whole thing about my hair collection, my hair stash, my hair product stash, uh, this was such a waste for such a few products oh my god but the thing about it is and the reason why I want to clean out is because I am trying to build my staple stash I really know as far as like deep conditioners and certain stylers what really has been working for my hair but my hair is also changing but I wanted to go back to some things that I know I love like certain shampoos I love certain deep conditioners I love like I want to stick with what I know um and so when I was trying out some of the products from Essence Vest, I found some new stuff I liked. I was reminded of stuff that I used to love. And so I decided I'm going to use up everything in my stash, throw away all the old stuff, use up everything. But then while there was having a sale, I wanted to get the stuff that I know that I just absolutely keep going for and I want to always have in my product stash. The shampoos I'm absolutely loving right now is the bonding shampoo from Bond Bar. It's just soft but like effective shampoo. And so I really like that one. It's almost gone. And if you've seen like a few um, videos, like a, what really probably like a year ago at this point, or longer, I actually was trying the whole Bond Bar system and I really loved it. It was affordable. Thing is though, you have to buy like, well, you don't have to buy, but there's like four steps in that whole system. And while I like the whole system, the one thing I really loved was the shampoo and the styling cream. 
But then when I went to Essence Fest, they had so many samples of this Shea Moisture Bond Repair Conditioner and Shampoo. Like I had enough to try it at least three times and I still have some of the conditioner. So I ended up trying and I fell in love with it and I really see why they were really promoting this and why so many people were like using this and speaking highly of it is because it is so good. And the bottles are way bigger than Bomb Bar. No shade to Bomb Bar. I really, really actually like that system. But I fell in love with this. And so I decided to make this my staple shampoo and conditioner. And then a like more hydrating conditioner that I have been liking was the My L Oats and Honey. But I ran out of that a long time ago. But I don't find this one too stripping. And my hair is really in a phase where it needs that bonding treatment. And so this set right here is going to be my staple shampoo and conditioner but i did get a soft hair wash that i enjoy that could be a co-wash or just like one of the washes where my hair just doesn't need to be stripped and that is the hair wash by the bread if you actually i think it was around this time last year I tried this out while I was on Thanksgiving break and I fell in love with it. Now, some people don't like it because it doesn't really lather a whole lot. I am a ex co-wash girly and I still co-wash, but I used to only co-wash. And this reminds me of co-wash when I just want to like reset my hair real quick and not completely strip it. This, this. So I got me some more of the bread hair wash and then i got a little one for travel too um just because i it's really flat really compact so i really like this and the idea of how like i can travel easily with it so i got a big one of the small one of these big one of these for the hair wash now moving on to deep conditioners like i'm a deep conditioner girly i love deep conditioners i love um specific ones so one that i fell in love with over the years and i've continuously used it like i talk about this all the time i hadn't had it for a while and i missed it and so it was on sale and i got the big bottle but this is the honey miracle oh my god i can already smell it through the packaging oh i have missed this so much y'all it is the honey miracle mask ah! this stuff right here so one that i always compared it to was the niche deep conditioner that i love but this one stole my heart years ago i still love it i'm i cannot wait to like tear back into this this holiday season like in the cold months i can't wait to start back using this in the cold months it just makes my hair feel so good it goes on so like i don't even need water when i'm using this it just glides into my hair so i got the big daddy on this one and it was a good price another one that i used to love i used this whole collection and honestly i might go back to the shampoo and conditioner from this too but it is the hydrate and repair protein powder treatment y'all this line had me in a chokehold, especially when I was trying to get my ends together that um, it was tacky. I can't even think of the name right now, but I used to put it on my ends and it was like a lifesaver for my ends. I just didn't like how I got on my clothes, but whew, this right here, this is such like a good like in between. Like if you don't know if you want moisture, you don't know if you want protein. This one right here, this is this has been a keeper in my collection, so it is now a staple. And then the last hair mask is by the bread, y'all. When I when I first tried this line, I absolutely loved it, and I just didn't go back to it because I had so much other stuff that I was trying out. But now that I'm building my staple collection, this right here, this this is this is what I want to keep in my stash. So that's literally all I bought. I didn't buy any more gels because as you already know, I already bought um one gel i had a bunch of gels i haven't even opened that i'm going to start using maybe spring it hasn't been that cold of a winter so i actually might dab back into my gels um i have so many creams i need to use up i literally just needed to work on my hair washing process so i'm going to put all my products back i'm going to show you some other staples that are in my collection now that i didn't have to read up on that i want to keep in my stash and i want y'all to let me know down below if any of these are your staples your go-to's like your must-haves if you've tried some of these products if you haven't tried some of these products and if there's something you want me to try out let you know how it works on camera i haven't done very many hair videos but i miss it i truly miss it y'all so let's go put this stuff up all right so ugh, 
In the first bucket, I'm going to put all of my deep conditioners. Reason being, reason being is because I, I typically, typically have more deep conditioners and now that I have this big bottle, it's going to need to go on the bottom. So the only other thing that's in here is actually like my straight hair products. And not only that, but like I've been using my heat protectants when I've been um, doing my diffusing. And so these are still all products that I really, really use, love, need, but basically they are a bunch of different like heat styling products. Something else from Shea Moisture that I've been loving is this bonding oil. So I'm going to put it in here as well, just because it's too big to sit on top with my other oils, which this is all I have right now. Like this is legit all I have. This is from Bomb Bar. It is a bonding concentrate. Like I like this one because you can do it if your hair is wet or dry. Um, and then I have the Fragrance Free Shine Oil by Carl Smith. And then, of course, this one that I haven't opened, Donna's Recipe. So I like to put that on the top tray, easy access. So, so that's that. In here, I'm going to put deep conditioners. I'm also going to put pre-treatments. So this is the only one I have left now. This is the Bond Curl Rehab Salve. This is also why I haven't really been using bond bar because I use this every other um wash day and my hair feels like it is like bouncing back to life so I'm going to put that in here I also had this hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment so this one I actually I haven't used it doesn't have a smell I was just curious if I can remember other one in there um it's not the hyaluronic acid one it's like the glycolic it's something I've been using that one so just to give my scalp a really good cleanse because it was so itchy and I saw this recommended and so I actually think I saw these in TJ Maxx so I picked up this one and the other one to try them out so I'm gonna put that back in there and then now for like my actual deep conditioners these I already showed you oh edge control I also keep on my top shelf I've been using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Flaxseed Edge Gel. Y'all, this big thing, this this has lasted me. Do you see this? They gave us these at Essence and it's been lasting. I also have one in my son's room. I use it on his hair. He goes to school smelling nice, y'all. All right, so the other one I have is I keep a big body of the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. It is my fave. So that's another one that like I'll alternate. I'll do a moisturizing and then I'll do this one. Another one I haven't used as much, and this one's actually brand new, is the Curls Blueberry Wrist Repair to Pair Mask. I used to live and die by curls when I first went natural, y'all, and there's for a reason. It's such a good brand. I have the Strengthen Protein and Moisture Balancing Deep Conditioner by Mish. This one, too, is a really good one, and I had it on backup, so now I can use it. Um, for some reason, I had a whole lot of protein and not enough moisturizing deep conditioners, but I'm balancing that out now. i got to be a good mix. I also have the Ajua Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative. See, for some reason, I had bought a whole bunch of reparative. And then I have the Balmint Deep Conditioning Treatment. Y'all, this one definitely does smell like peppermint. Makes my hair feel so good. Like, if you want to do, like, a deep conditioning session and you want to get in the Christmas spirit, like, this, this right here is what you want. Um, it's actually almost gone. It has hair in it. Sorry. But, yeah, it's almost gone. Um, and then I have a brand new one of the Pattern Treatment Mask. I really like this one, but I, I feel like I didn't know how to use it. And the smell, I'm very sensitive with smells, and the smell is something that, like, I just... I really, really just did not, like, I couldn't take the smell because it was so strong, but it's good. But if I had to rank my deep conditioners right now and pick one of each, one moisturizing, one that's more, like, reparative, I would do the Honey Miracle Mask and the Briogeo Don't Despair. All right, so this is done. A little bit left in this one. Just like not even a lot. I probably get one more wash day out of this one. All right, so 
Besides the Bond Bar, the Shea Moisture, the bread, the other hair wash product I have left in my stash right now is this the Do One Love Co-Wash. Now, I've used this a couple of times. I really don't remember if it was memorable at all. Um, not to say it was a bad product, I just, I don't remember. And honestly, if I had to pick right now, I think if I stuck with the bread and Shea Moisture, I would be okay with shampoos. I really don't need anything else outside of that. Um, the other one I used to use a lot was the um, As I Am co-wash. Now that one, that co-wash had me in a chokehold. And then also what was in my shower and is kind of gone now is the melanin shampoo and leave-in or shampoo conditioner. It was like multi conditioner. Um, that was also what I had in my stash. But for now, all of the this this is all I have for washing my hair right now which which is fine like that's perfect that's all I need I'm trying to condense um so washing conditioning another conditioner I have which I had it for the longest I didn't use it I didn't fall in love with it is this not your mother's curl talk three-in-one conditioner I'm just simply trying to use it up I'm not I'm not in love all right and then if you've been here for a minute, you know I have a, a love, a deep, deep love for patterns. The Moisture Milk, the Detangling Nectar. It's also going back. Now these, these, when I think about leave-ins and I think about staples, this, this is it. So those three, two slash three, are the current leave-ins I have. And the only other one I would add to those two, the two pattern ones, because they kind of go with certain things is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. That is life. I will probably never stop using that. I'm just completely out. Can you believe it? I have not bought any more. Like I really was trying to get rid of products and so I haven't bought any more. But let's move on to creams. So creams, let me tell you, this Bomb Bar Bonding Styling Cream, this here, this little bottle of amazingness, this this makes your hair feel so good and I want to do it for some twist out styles like I did with my hair today because when I tried this I was so shocked I was not expecting to really like this amazing another cream curl enhancing smoothie I can use this as a leave-in I typically tend to use it as a leave-in and a styler depending on what I'm pairing it with but this is also something in my stash that I absolutely love that's going to stay there. Okay, these next four creams I'm trying to use up, but I actually like them all. Uh, if I had to rank, I would probably do, hmm, I would probably do the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer by TGIN. I actually have a video talking about these already, so I'm not going to talk about them. But if I had to pick the top one out of all of them, it's probably TGIN. TGIN and the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I forgot one leave-in and it's because I've had it and I just never used it. It's the Blue Tansy Leave-In Conditioning Styler. I am going to use it um, and try it out, but I broke the pump. <laughs> I broke it, y'all. I broke it. Last but not least, I have mousse and stylers. My mousse, I have a lot of the Crazy Sexy Curl because I already had one and then I got some from... Um, from Essence and I actually have already used up a small one of them, a big one of them, and these were like the backups that I had. I also have Mish, it's almost gone. There's like probably that much left that I need to use up. TGIN and The Do. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, I can't pick. I like all of these and I'm not ready to decide. All right, I'm back. It is much, much later. I had to stop because my help came to decorate the front and put up my tree before my child got home. And then of course, cook dinner, do all the things. And so now I'm back. My hair is wet because it was raining outside, so I am wet. But we need to finish this because I need my bathroom floor back. So I think the last thing I have is gel. So the most recent gel I got is the bread hair gel. I have not tried it yet. I I am excited to try it, but I have yet to try it. So I have that. I'm going to put it in here with my mousse. When I tell y'all, I don't have that many products. Like, it's looking good. I have two Curl Smith gels that I have yet to try out. I picked these up at TJ Maxx. One was a level six and one was a level nine hold. So I was kind of curious about these two. I just wanted to try it out again. I have, I think I may have tried this number six once. I have yet to try the number nine, so I have those. So I have the almond and avocado honey curl forming custard. I actually am almost at like this is 
I have a little bit less than half left. Um, and I like to pair it with the Almond and Olive Avocado Curling Cream. This is a one product, like you could just do one, but if you want a little bit of crunch, a little bit of hold, you can put this over top. So I do like this. And of course my all time favorite, which I am gonna have to get another one again, like I'm almost out, but I'm probably not gonna get any more until spring, but it is the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus and Flaxseed Defining Styling Gel. You know, I love putting this I tried it by itself, didn't like it, and I finally found a combo that I love. Actually, I think I found two combos, but for now I have a one set combo that I love. Um, some people said that they didn't, couldn't get it to work together, and I just, I don't know what I did, so I need to play with it again and see if I, I didn't do a lot of gel or I didn't do a lot of cream. I'm very heavy handed, so I can't, I'm, I don't even know. But this is probably like one of my favorite lightweight gels all right so these two are newer to me but i have used this big pop of quite a bit um i still have like half of it in there um i do like this one and it's more of a stronger hold not real real strong but definitely more than the shea moisture one this is a custard this is like a newer one in my collection this is the texture id i had picked up around the same time and i didn't use them for a while and i finally started trying to use it um I will probably use some of my custards throughout this fall and maybe a little bit winter just because I said it's not that cold and like now we have like this rain spill out of nowhere so you can see my hair just flew. Okay, this is something I found at TJ Maxx and I never used it but I was really curious about this because I never tried anything from this brand. It's only $5.99. It's the Tough Cookie Styling Gel. It says Slick Shape Define and this is by Taraji. Um, so I never tried any of her products and I thought maybe I would give it a try, but of course it's a gel. So when I decide to open it and use it, I will. This Maui moisture is, um, like actually it's, it's almost gone. It had a little bit longer shelf life than the others. Like it has an 18 month shelf life. So I have a little bit longer to use it, but it's actually like almost out, but it's very watery. Um, this one, I really like it. It's not a strong hold for me. So, you know, fall, winter, it could be a possibility. And last but not least, this has grown to be my favorite and I'm probably gonna just keep repurchasing it over and over and over and over and over. It is the B-Girl Honey Curl Custard. Problem with this one though. <laughs> so this one, I, I feel like it's expired. This is one of the products I did not write the date on and I didn't write the date because I didn't see like the timestamp on here so somebody help me out if you know where the timestamp is on the dues products because I'm looking and I don't see an expiration like time frame on these things but I really think it has expired and I don't want to keep it and I'm probably not going to use it anyways and so I'm going to trash this one <sighs> It was halfway gone. I really hate to trash it because I really, really like it, but I don't want to keep old products. So I'm trashing this and like, that's my stash. Like that's all I have left in here. I want to use up the rest of this. And then by spring, I should be able to just have my set shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, stylers, like, like my shampoos and all that. It's kind of set. My leave-ins are kind of set. I just need some more of my Shea Moisture. But as far as like stylers, I want one soft gel, one like medium, one like extra hold. And then I don't know, mousse has me in a strong hold right now too. So I'm probably just gonna favor be a mousse, but I don't want to be a product junkie anymore. I still do wanna try out products, but I want to like use up what I have, replenish with what I know I want, and then like try out a product here and there. It really pains me. And then I got to the ends of these. Um, they are past the expiration date, but it was literally like a little bit left in there. So that's it. That's all my products. All right, y'all. I'm going to go fix this hair. I hope y'all enjoyed cleaning out my stash and seeing some of my favorite products. Let me know your faves down below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.